hello and welcome to episode 23 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough here, cycle 32, day 5. Last time we made this wonderful and beautiful Beaverberg 15 sign right here with the help of the Big Signs mod. And we also took care of a whole bunch of other stuff. And most notably, you might notice, see this giant, well I guess you can call this a power bridge. Uh, we do in fact have a connection between the top and the bottom for power. And we have a system-wide battery capacity of almost 500,000 HPH. Uh, the batteries are currently charging, and we're going to be expanding it even more in the future as we continue working on stuff. But there's plenty for us to get to today as we continue marching forward in this series. And I cannot wait to get started. This has been so much fun. This is, I think, my favorite playthrough I have ever done of Timberborn. So we'll go ahead and jump right on into it. There's a lot of good, a lot of good comments, excuse me, uh, in the last video, suggestions on what we should do. And one of the first things I think I want to get to is for us to go ahead and put some stuff up here. Now, when I built these, and up here, I mean right here on top of our food storage, when I built these, uh, I, I made it possible for us to continue building on top if we so chose. Uh, but I think, honestly, the amount of storage we have right now for most of this stuff is gonna be fine. Uh, we have built, well, we're in the process of building two more here and two more here. By the time it's all said and done, we're gonna have, I believe, at least 1,600 storage for all of our food. Some of it's gonna have more. Uh, the mangrove fruits could have storage somewhere around 8,000. I don't think we're ever gonna need that many. Uh, but suffice to say, I think we're adequate on our food storage. So I'm not really gonna be worried about moving uh, up from here, but, uh, we do need some more recreation stuff. If we take a look at our uh, well-being right here at the end of the beaver workday and go down to social life, rooftop terraces, there's only 59 beavers having that need met. And they are on top of every single lodge. But we have the opportunity to put even more on here the way that we, uh, we, we have this set up. So uh, these are connected. We could have this path go all the way across uh, if we so chose. But I think... I think we might want to just in this one spot and then uh, put one here, one here, one here, one here, one here for another five. And then some sort of uh, either a monument or something here. I, th I think right now, wow, uh, right here we don't really need to worry about monument coverage because, well, we have uh, presently uh, no more need for it. But uh, it could very well be something that we could uh, improve in the future and having a spot for that is not going to be a bad idea. So since it is nighttime, I will go ahead and just uh, build this so we have these guys uh, something to do here. So I will put, at the very least, these four in place. And then we'll bring this all the way across. Bring this all the way across as well. And then uh, we have this corner piece, like I said, to put something else in. But what we can also do is we can build another set of platforms on top of all this. And we can supply those with all of these roofing pieces right on top of the ladders. So they always have access to that. And then we have all the space right here we can put these things on uh, that we haven't really messed with. Again, it's not an aesthetic playthrough. So if we put something silly in a silly spot, then that's because it's optimized, I think, is what we're going to roll with. But uh, we, we can get a little creative with what goes in here. Because uh, remember, the beavers do always have to go up and down the ladders to get to all this stuff. And by having the roofing piece here, the beavers walking by on this path get it. And uh, this side as well. Uh, well, if it showed up, it doesn't want to for some reason. But they will get that. So we can keep an eye on what we might want to put here. And then uh, I can also, if we feel so inclined, put another rooftop terrace here. But I believe the way I have stuff spaced out, if we uh, ever expand out to have our thousand beaver capacity then uh, these large barracks will directly butt up against here, and that would allow us to have a nice uh, upstairs all the way across. I think that would be cool, and we could put uh, a monument here, a monument here, to have really have a complete and total coverage. So we're going to start... not going to spend too much time at this exact moment doing this. Might end up having to come back later and uh, do the dreaded time lapse on some of this stuff. But I, I do think it's important to at least uh, make some sort of an effort to get something like this done early. So we make sure we address everybody's uh, ideas and concerns here. 
but I cannot wait to have more districts so it does not cause so much lag every time I play something down. That's uh, that's just uh, my thought about that. So uh, speaking of monuments, uh, we had had a couple of discussions uh, before about putting possibly the tribute to ingenuity, which I guess I could just go ahead and research uh, in the middle here. And then I said, well, that would be fun, but we don't really have space for it. Well, um, so the thing about that is we can just put it on platforms. And for powering it, I've forgotten, but you guys reminded me in the comments, uh, we have these shaft tunnels that we could use, uh, the one long tunnel, and put it right underneath here. We would have to, I think, um, I think I'd have to have something for it to rest on on the other side, but we could just have this go straight underneath and then hook directly into one of these things. These uh, deep water pump shafts are in the way, but, but if we are careful with how we have this set up, I think we can make this work. So I'm not going to pause the game. There's no need to do that, but uh, I will go ahead, come in right behind here and check and see what our, uh, what our situation is going to be looking like with regard to depth. I think, I think, wow, that's 12 deep. I made this one way too deep, but uh, let's check and see, because I don't know exactly. And the height shore mod, unfortunately, does not work in update five, uh, at least not for me. I know that is uh, something that will disappoint many of you. But um, if I could just get this to be built, it looks to me like that is still two blocks down. So let's try let's try that. If I can get this to work, that's going to be amazing. That will make it so much easier for us to get stuff put together. Yeah, so it will connect, but the problem we're going to run into... Oh, heavy stackable. No, 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 no. We'll get rid of this because we have, we have reinforced platforms. And we have a lot of metal too. So, uh, was I going to do that here? I think it was, yeah. Then the double. Yeah, this is the only corner this is really going to be a huge problem with. But we'll uh, we'll take a look to see. Yeah, it doesn't want to let me, uh, doesn't want to let me do this. I think it's probably because of uh, these platforms here. So what we will do with that, we can always put this back if it's not because of that, but uh, right here. Yep, there we go. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That is going to be fantastic. 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 Because what I can do on top of this is I can just put a regular, uh, regular platform. Problem solved. And then we just put the bot charger back in place. And that will not communicate power downward. However, we can come over here. We can get rid of this guy. And we can put in a T. And I'm just I'm just gonna get rid of these. Oh no, because that one's got uh got gears. We can actually use that. So we'll just uh just do one of these, right like so. Put that T in there, put this, please click, thank you. All right, put that in there, that in there. Then I guess we'll just uh, high prioritize that. But I want to see these guys get in here with this because that is going to be so cool to get, to get power to the inside and then do that. Again, this is the... Uh, we already have the ladder here, good. This is the only corner that is this deep. The rest of them will not be this hard. So what we'll end up doing, uh, we can either do triple platforms or we can just come in with the, uh, or the other stuff. But uh, honestly... Honestly, I think this is fine. Just do three by three. Oh, hold on. I got a little bit disorientated from how uh, how far down this is. So that will go in there. Then I think one more will get me to... Ah, uh, not quite. Not quite. So instead I will do a two and then another two and then it's dead even. And then of course on top of that with the tribute to ingenuity. We have to decide facings though. Uh, I guess I'm gonna want this guy, oh, look at this. We'll just do uh, facing outward like this and then we'll rotate him clockwise as time goes by. But man, that is gonna look so cool. <laughs> that is gonna that is gonna be an absolute beast of a centerpiece here. Man, I am so excited. <laughs> it's gonna take him forever to build it, but it's gonna be really cool. So uh, I'm not gonna duplicate this until we're sure we like it. But uh, we'll, we'll let them do that. It's probably going to take them a while to get it done. So uh, we'll go off and take care of our other stuff. But I think that's going to be really cool. 
Uh, other f uh, other concerns that we had, or some of you had, I guess, uh, was that food factories are unable to keep up with demand. Um, we have 1,900 eggplant rations. I don't think that's a problem. But the corn rations and the algae rations are not as robust. So we might want to take a look at optimizing some of this. But I mean, for the time being, we have 1,300 food stored. It's it, it's extremely unconcerning. We'll we'll let this we'll let's see what happens because we have we have the corn right here. We probably needed to plant more corn, and we did. So we did plant more. That's canola. Uh, we did plant more corn. So you know, it's it's one of those things that's just a process, and uh, we do have to take the time to actually let it happen before we jump to conclusions about whether it works or not. So that is what that is, and that's fine. We got rid of the eggplants here, and we can plant some other stuff there based on our needs. If we look in the raw section, um, I, I don't think it's going to be canola. We have a ton of canola. That should not be a problem. Uh, the corn is going to vastly improve once this other stuff matures a little bit. Eggplant, never, ever in the history of mankind has there ever been a problem, well, in timberborn, beaver kind, uh, with having enough eggplants. And then uh, soybeans, we don't really have a lot of raw storage for those, but we also haven't really finished our food processing up here. Partly because we haven't needed to, but we have tons of soybeans. That's not going to be an issue. I think, honestly, our food situation is fine. And we're not really going to need to worry about it. But what we can do, what we can do is we can continue replacing these breeding pods with the ones that take the uh, the ooze, the extract. I love the, uh, I love the lag we're getting there. And I just, I cannot, like, sleep without thinking about how awesome this is going to be to have these power shaft tunnels here. This is amazing. Amazing that this works. Great mods. But yeah, that, like I said, it's going to take a really, really long time. So let them, we'll let them get into that. Down here is looking good. Uh, our bot part factories are still paused. Or our bot assemblers, excuse me, are still paused. Uh, we have plenty of chassis. We have plenty of heads. Limbs are seeming to... Oh, never mind. I was incorrect. <laughs> I just saw the pause icon, so let's... um. Let's unpause all of these. And now we're lacking in bots because uh, we haven't been uh, making them for a little bit of time. So we'll let them do what they got to do. Uh, check on our priority for these. Just for right now, I'm going to deprioritize the uh, centrifuges. And let these guys go and do other stuff. Uh, there's a lot going on. We have 128 bots. We have two of them that are actually un... Uh, Unassigned. Is that because why? They're just unemployed? Straight up? Okay. Well, we'll we'll get it figured out. Got plenty of stuff to do. But I think I really like this with the rooftop terraces here. I think that is fantastic. Uh, making good improvements here. Now we actually have all of our food storage. Or for the most part, have it. Looks like that's good. So it'll, it'll get filled up. It's going to take some time. But we should be in very good shape for that. Get those last couple pieces of corn planted. Looking good. We're generating lots of power. We have a battery charge of 574,000. And uh, I don't know what the second number is. But that's... Um, no, maybe that's the capacity and that's the current charge. I don't know. I, I, I'm not always good at reading. Shocker, I know. Uh, but uh, that's fine. We have storage here for the raw corn and the eggplants uh, that we started putting in, uh, I wanted to say yesterday, but no, the last episode of this, uh, earlier last week. So I believe, I believe this is probably about as good as it needs to be. We will, of course, continue making improvements to it as time goes by, but honestly... For the most part, I believe this is okay. So let's talk a little bit about some other things people have proposed, uh, specifically about keeping and getting water up here. Uh, the mechanical pumps, now that we have a ton of power uh, pretty much everywhere, people have proposed mechanical pumps replacing our double floodgates here, which we could pretty easily do. 
uh, at least on this side, because we have this extra space here. Uh, we already have power going this entire way by way of uh, all these power shafts. So it's possible to get it done. I just don't know if it's the best option for right now, because honestly, this works fine. It works okay. I don't think we really need to be that concerned about it. But if you think that's a good idea, I would be interested to know in the comments if that's something you want to see. I don't anticipate that we will completely change over to that, but it could be a fun thing to try once. Uh, see how it works as we are continuing around and around and around, working on all of our different fun stuff. But outside of that... Um, oh, I remember what somebody suggested. Uh, in the... Uh, that's the wrong one. In the uh, Big Signs mod, we have all these accent characters and umlauts. And I've been informed that I'm required to put the umlaut over the V, even though in human language it's wrong. In beaver language, it's correct. So thanks to WM for that one in the comments. Uh, now it is, I don't, I have no idea how this would be pronounced, the umlaut on the V, but the, our, our Beaverberg 15 sign now has an umlaut on it. Yeah, that is everything that I had on my list. That does not mean the episode's done, not by a long shot. But uh, that is the gist of m the most common things you guys had concerns about. So you know what that means is we can just keep on keeping on over here and see what we can get ourselves into. Now, why? Okay, that was still, still not there. What are we waiting on? I guess I shouldn't really complain because I have no idea what else is still in the pipeline for getting done. We just have so much stuff that we've been trying to keep track of, and uh, it hasn't always been easy. But looks like this is just about completely evaporated, which is fun. Uh, we're not out of uh, our scrap metal, not by a long shot. There's still plenty all over the map for us to get. But good to know that when the time comes, we'll be able to do that. Eventually, we'll get this all taken care of. It's just extremely not a concern. Everything else seems to be doing just fine. We have power slowly getting stored up. We probably could use uh, some more generation. And we have enough We have enough logs that I'm not going to feel bad putting in a couple more of these, uh, these engines, especially since we no longer have to staff these. So if we could find a place where we could just absolutely inundate the map with these, uh, with these engines, that would be nice. The way stuff is currently set up, it's not really, uh, not really looking, I don't know what that was, not not really looking uh, pros positive. Positive, that's not even a word. What are you doing? We'll figure it out. I am, for the moment, deeply unconcerned about it. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Is we, uh, <laughs> we didn't have this set up. They're still waiting on gears. So why, I mean, we have, we have a bunch of gears, right? Or are those all in the other district? No, we have 260. I guess they're just, uh... Occupy. I know I, I reduced the priority of that, and that's why it's not being built, but I would have figured at least something would have been getting done here. So this is done here. That charging station's done there. Uh, metal blocks, no storage. Well, the storage in the other district is full, so uh, I, can, I can delete it, or I can, uh, I can put one of these. That's already got dirt. That's already got dirt, 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 dirt. These don't need to be dirt. I'm going to make one for metal blocks because I can. So that will solve that problem. Then we can have some metal blocks in storage here for when we actually do build stuff. Look at this. Look at this. They're they are going like gangbusters on this thing, man. Yeah, this is going to be the true test, though. 300 metal blocks, 100 treated planks, and 400 gears. Actually, we have all that already. So I guess that's going to be a quick build. But we can watch it because that's always fun. We can enjoy the process, and that is a very enjoyable part of the game. So, since we are sitting here watching them build stuff, or build stuff out of frame that will eventually come into frame, uh, you can now actually, this time I mean it, uh, vote for the, uh, the name of our second bot district uh, in this playthrough. That community poll is live on the community tab in the channel. I meant to say channel poll, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm getting at. Finally got some more name suggestions, so I picked uh, five of my favorites, and I put that on the poll for you. And we will see what ends up winning when it comes time to have another episode of this 
on, uh, what day is that going to be again? I actually don't remember. Thursday, I think? No, it's not Thursday. Why can't I remember what day I do these videos? That's embarrassing. Whatever day it is that the next episode comes out on. Everything is, everything is kind of screwed up. It is currently Sunday evening, and I'm recording this for a Monday release when I haven't done a Monday video on this series in quite some time. So, uh, calendars notwithstanding, the next video we will rename. Uh, I imagine the winner will be decided in probably about 30 minutes. Anyway, it usually is. So uh, make sure you go and vote if you have not already seen that. Uh, Beard Boosters who watch this video early, you obviously will not have access to the poll because the poll will not go up until 10 a.m. Eastern time and the video will go public at 10.30. So no need to ask where the poll is. It's coming. The rest of you, completely irrelevant uh, for that conversation. So I guess you can turn your ears back on now. But they are now finally, look at these guys coming in here. They're bringing all this metal in place. And it is so much fun to just watch all these beavers stream in like this just constantly. That is exciting. And of course, yes, we still have to have the uh, the power actually connect to this. But I did want to get the construction on the actual monument itself started. Look at these guys go, man. That is so many metal blocks. I wonder... Would that be a good uh, a good cover cover image, title, thumbnail, whatever the stupid thing's called? Oh, they're kind of like meshing through each other. I wonder if I can get like a really close angle on this. That actually is kind of cool. Cool like this. I'll tell you what. Let's, um, since we are already here, why, oh, not like that. Why, why don't we get ourselves a, uh, a nice screenshot like this? Maybe, uh, maybe a slightly lower angle. There we go. Oh, no, it's, it's doing that stupid thing again. That's fine. We'll do, uh, we'll do one of these. It doesn't exactly follow the rule of thirds, but that's fine. Get a nice screenshot of that. I may or may not use it for the thumbnail. If you clicked on it, you already know, but, uh, just nice to get a little bit of a low angle view sometimes. I do remember some people asking, uh, why I don't do that, and I should be better about showing that stuff to you, so there you go. It is kind of a cool looking thing, though. All right, so we are progressing nicely on that. We've got to got to get our power transferred over. Uh, this is two blocks lower than where it currently will be coming up. Uh, so we will have to decide where we want it to come in. I'm thinking probably right about here would be good. Uh, they have access beneath this through the uh, the ladders that I guess I honestly probably can just leave there. Uh, so I'm thinking what we'll end up doing. I don't have the side platforms able to come off of this because, well, uh, it's not uh, not set up to work like that. Why? Okay, that's power shaft noise. I was about to say, what in the world is that? Does that sound? So the power comes out here. We want it to come over. I guess we're never going to look in here, so it probably doesn't matter. We can just give these guys all sorts of mess to uh, to work with here. So if we did. Uh, one of these. Then all we have to do is build a single on top of this. And then... Oh, they're not going to be able to get onto that, are they? No, they're not. I forgot that I can just do this. <laughs> and that's, that's going to be the perfect height. The only problem is they're not going to be able to build up from underneath if it's on the top of the two. So we might have to... Uh... Why did I pause this? I don't need to pause this. We'll just start with that, and then uh, when it comes time to put the rest in, then we will put the rest in. Actually, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do a bad here. I'm going to pause this so they can, they can build all this mess because we still have to have the power to come up into this, and that's going to require them to have access from above. So don't worry, don't worry, we'll get it fixed. Not going to be a problem. Just uh, those growing pains that come with trying a new idea out. But I am very interested to know what you guys think about this. So please do remember to uh, leave your feedback on that. We'll come back and check on this in a moment's time. Now we have, we have bots that are out of power. That shouldn't be a thing because we have chargers. So, I, well, okay, that's where the guy's going. So that's okay. We also need to think about putting in these control towers. 
Uh, I will go ahead and research those. And then we just have to find a good place. They got a pretty decent size range. Uh, I figured probably would be smart. I wish I could build on top of these, these things. But if I were to put maybe in uh, some of these corners up here or at the edges of these farms or whatever. But then I realized they're not really working in any of these buildings up here. And they probably won't be very much long term. So we really should prioritize down here because, you know, this is basically the entirety of a bot district, right? So we want to, this is actually the perfect size for this. Find ourselves a spot where we can put this and it's not going to be a problem. This is about centered right here. So the easy solution, obviously, is to just... Put that there and then put the control tower here. How much power are we making per day? I don't know that it really matters because we can just put in... Uh, we can put in uh, number crunchers. Those of you who are insatiable number cruncher fanboys, fanboys and girls, I suppose, uh, I guess can rejoice at the uh, inclusion of those when those get brought in. But that will go here quite nicely. That will cover both of these areas. And then in the very middle, I don't really have room to put one, but I will, uh, I suppose, just put a couple right here and here. That should help out massively. And then that's basically the entire bot district minus these. But if the bots actually go into this radius enough to... Uh, drop stuff off, then that should be okay. But this will help quite a few of the bots that we're actually relying on to do very, uh, very important things. So that'll be nice. Grease factory, we need to make. We've been importing uh, canola oil and we've, well, we don't have to import the bad water or the extract because it's already here. So if we research these, they of course have to be powered. Uh, we need to find a couple places to put one and honestly, it's not going to be that hard. We can just kind of... Uh, oh, you know what? I probably should have... Uh... Oh, oh no, that's part of the wheel. I can't do that. I was about to say that would be uh, that would be cool. But if I just pop that in there and that in here, then I can just connect it. It's already going to be powered. It's going to be very easy. And then we have our uh, crusty grease that looks like a combination of sausage gravy and wallpaper paste <laughs> whatever it is pretty uh pretty foul but uh, we have all these tanks here we don't need to have all of this be just bad water so i was thinking this could become grease and this could become grease and then let's move it to the you know the other four that are empty and then the grease will have storage now, should we have built this maybe a little closer to where the grease is going to get stored? Yeah, probably. But uh, the way this is set up, I don't think is going to be an issue. The bots are so efficient, it's going to be absolutely fine. Or if we have really, really felt bad about it, we could put little tanks closer to all this. We clearly do not need to have all these deep bad water pumps. In fact... I'm going to make the executive decision right now to uh, say sayonara to these guys. And then uh, we'll let them pick up all these pieces here. If they don't want to, then I'll just get rid of them. But I will give them the opportunity to do so. And then uh, we can actually, for the betterment of everybody involved, we can actually have the ingredients for the grease here. Actually, you know what we could do? Is we could have three of these on each side gone. Yeah, see, now we're, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. We're not even using all of these pumps. We don't really even need them. If they don't want to get rid of this stuff, then we'll just get rid of it for them. But we'll put tank, tank, tank all the way down. All right, out of storage for logs. All right, your time has come. Um, can I? No, I guess I just have to manually click delete. We're not going to lose sleep over it. Got too much other stuff to do. So that's going to look quite nice. And then... Oh, you know what? You know what we could do? I could just put two big tanks here. But I like the idea of having the three. 
so that should be fine. One, two, three, flip, one, two, three. There we go. We'll use our tab because that is such a cool thing that I always forget exists. This will be for grease. This will be for extract. And this will be for canola oil. We'll set this as a thing. Oh, good. A drought and not a bad tide. I'm going to get absolutely bodied by the next bad tide that comes in just because we haven't had one in so long. But there we go. That's going to be set quite nicely. Making grease. Even if it's just two at a time, two of these working, I think this is a much better use of this space uh, than having, what, 16 of these pumps? We really don't need 16 of those. So that should be fine. How are we looking over here? Did we get all of our power stuff taken care of? Um, looks like we did. We just have to do these one at a time because that's what we have access to. And then once they're done with that, we can put the vertical power shaft stuff here and then bring that up, and that'll be connected. I think that is going to look absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to see what this looks like in context. Oh, also, this needs to be connected here. Which, actually, I have the technology. I'm going to put a cross in. No reason not to. It just costs a couple more logs, and in case you haven't noticed, we have 8,000 of them. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. And I don't think we're going to run into any issues there. All right, so that's going to go there, that's going to go there, and that's going to go there, and that will be beautiful. 100% fabulous. Love to see it, folks. And the water storage is pretty full. That is working in our favor as well. Uh, we probably could use some extra water in here. I don't really know where we would... Uh, you know what? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We'll put it here. And we'll do the same thing on the other side because symmetry is a requirement punishable by death. Water here, water here, just a ton of water for no other reason than we want to do it. So that will be fine. That's going to be nice. All right. So this is in progress. Uh, so we, I guess we can let them do that. But it is the end of the workday, so... That will be okay. We can spend our time instead coming over here, hitting the wrong button. And then that's going there. That's going there. Storage galorage. That's not even a real word. What am I saying? That's going to be for water. That's going to be for water. And just do this two more times. I have not finished this side. How did I get away with that? Is that because we had the uh, the pumps here? Wow, wow, we are uh, we're not complete, folks. We're missing so many. I mean, not that we need them, but I did say I wanted to have a whole lot of beavers, so that is uh, one way to <laughs> get away with that. Um, these are almost done. Now, by the time I would replace them, then they would line up with these two. So we will uh, we'll wait a little bit longer on those. These are almost done with the beaver, so I might as well just wait for those to be finished. But uh, we are going to be replacing these with the ones that need the, the goo, the extract, the surge, vault, whatever your green energy drink of choice is. I think vault was only around for a couple years, but surge was an icon, man. <laughs> I think it's still sold overseas relative to where I am. Uh, it did get brought back. Because uh, a bunch of people, and I don't know, when I say a bunch, it could have just been a couple hundred people, uh, but they petitioned Coca-Cola to bring it back. And I think it was in the fountains at Burger King for a while. But uh, you, could, you could buy it in the 16-ounce the cans. Like, yeah, okay, this tastes exactly how I remember it, just you know, <laughs> generic 90s energy drink. But it was, it was a, a fun little nostalgia there. I remember Vault being pretty good, but it didn't last very long. Now all the energy drinks have, like, I don't know, crazy stuff in them, giving people heart attacks. Like, eh, okay, not for me. All right, give me these advanced breeding pods. Put them right here, right here. Click Arino. There we go. Okay, they actually built this uh, large tank. Nice. All right, do we have our uh, connections here? Yes, we do. All right, unpause. Unpause, and we will get this guy built once again. We are making such great progress here, folks. Lots to be pleased with. 
uh, Greece, they are they are really going through it. They they are absolutely going through it. So we we could go down there and prioritize stuff by haulers if we felt so inclined. Uh, I don't think we really need to worry about it. Look at look at these like this whole line of beavers coming in to deliver stuff. Just all the way around, all the way around. How close are we now? Getting there. It's all waiting on gears. So we should see a oh look at this army of beavers coming in here with gears. They they are going they are going with a quickness. Look at them. Look at them carrying these gears. Everybody's coming in. Everybody and their mom's coming in here bringing gears. That is good stuff. They really do have a good like animation set with this game. We, we just never look at it because we're always zoomed out all the way. But that is very exciting. They got another 135, 140-ish gears to bring that in. I hope they can get that done the rest of today. So we'll go ahead and speed that up just so we can make some progress there. And it looks like we are probably in the clear. Because I know, I know they got all these beavers just running absolutely everywhere. Yep, here we go. Here we go. We got another wave coming in. And that should be just about it. As soon as the rest of them get in here. And then we'll have our glorious and fabulous tribute to Ingenuity. Uh, the range of which cannot reach the center here. So that's a little unfortunate. But it is what it is. Look at this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Wow. That is cool. That looks so nice in the center of this. I think I want that to be like that forever. For all of these. So we just have to decide if this other one is going to match facing this way. I say when I can't rotate the pointer to actually point the correct direction. Uh, facing toward the bottom of the screen in this corner. Or if we want it to face this way when rotated this way. I don't think it really matters, to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, if you have any opinion about that, please feel free to drop it below. I probably will not make another one of these this episode, uh, just so we can make sure we take care of other stuff. But I think this is fantastic. So thank you very much for those of you who have been campaigning for that to be the thing that goes in the center. Uh, I think having the water right here is probably a better choice anyway. Uh, because it's more stuff closer to where the beavers are going to be all the time. But this layout also means that we can have another tank here if we wanted to have more, more water or wanted to have coffee or something else up here. We could pretty easily do that and then just have this meet up here without any issues. So we've got quite a bit of stuff to do here, don't we? Lots and lots to get done. But we don't need the extra space, so I kind of don't want to build these until we need them. So those are going to stay the way they are. Uh, these, oh, I paused them. That's why they haven't been built. But uh, we don't really have a whole lot of gears because, well, we spent 400 of them making this a giant beaver atlas shrugged statue or whatever this is. So that's, uh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll be okay. Uh, we need to... Okay, now we're actually starting to kind of amass some grease. Uh, so if we prioritize these by haulers here, hopefully they don't have to go get their own materials, even though they are right here. They are right here. Um, these should be okay. Uh, we are building more bots, so that's good progress there. Uh, we have 87,000 HPH stored in this one. But this one's almost full, so we've got quite a bit and it shows us our projected uh our endurance of using power which is only 60 hours which is last time i checked about two and a half days and it's an eight day drought so you know it's uh not necessarily looking that good for us here you know except for the engines which we do need to build uh more of but i figured uh if we take a look at what these uh what do they call these power shafts? Uh, the flywheels need, if we have the materials to build it, when these are empty, we can just put more in. We can uh, disconnect all this stuff and build another one. I believe we have everything, not necessarily in this district, but uh, we do have we do have everything. Actually, we do. We've, we've got all of it to build one more in here. And we'll just keep on keeping on. Uh, but this is how the power gets connected to the entire upstairs here. So I will not be uh, will not be getting rid of this until all of our battery power is depleted. If it um, 
if it doesn't deplete, then well, it doesn't deplete and then I don't have to worry about it. But I uh, just want to make sure that everything is good before I completely, completely get rid of all that. Because it is quite a bit of work to get all that taken care of. These are looking good, but they're paused. That's fine. I haven't built those. And then this one, we didn't even bother to put the pumps in at all. Because I think we didn't have the materials for it. But we can. We can always go back and put them in. We just need to decide uh, if that's going to be worth it. I think for right now it's more important to spend the gears and the treated planks on the um, the flywheels. So that is what I will be uh, lobbying for us to do. Not that I specifically need to because I'm the one playing the game. But I do, I do want to make sure you guys feel like you're being included. And that your suggestions matter. Because they do. So, again, it's a let's play, not a watch me play the game. It's always, always about involving uh, everyone who watches the videos, because that's part of the fun, right? It doesn't have to only be about me, 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 me. Well, no one would watch it if it was. I'm not, I'm not that interesting of a person. It's it, the, the fun of this is doing it together. So, uh, I digress. We've got plenty of other stuff we can get to, and we will do just that. This medium tank, this can go, this can go, all of this, and we can... Oh, I don't need to click on beavers. They're just coming all over the place to grab this stuff. We need to plant more stuff here. But I'm not exactly sure what we need to plant because we already have this huge field of cassava here. Um, we have stored almost a full uh, capacity of cassava, but we also own only, quote-unquote, have 320-some uh, beavers. So I feel like this wouldn't be the worst place to have more cassava. It's always good to have. Uh, and we, we can only store so much. That is because we haven't really, haven't really engineered this correctly yet. We got all sorts of stuff to do. Once we get rid of all of our wood processing from up here, then these can become fermenters and oil presses. That sound is glorious. Um, I want to know how they recorded that. If you are on mechanistry staff, I know they don't watch these videos, but if, if somehow you are on mechanistry staff and you were involved in the sound department or you know who did the Foley or where you got that from, I would love to know what it is that makes the sound. It, it like it sounds it's like a uh, mm, it's like a combination of some sort of like mechanical noise and then Somebody stirring a very wet bowl of mac and cheese with a big wooden spoon. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Foley and the, the sound effects stuff has always been very interesting to me. Uh, ever since I, uh, I think I was a, uh, man, I don't know what, what would I have been, like kindergarten, first grade. There was a show that was on PBS in the U.S. Uh, called Wishbone. That was about this Jack Russell Terrier who would go and, uh, I guess, They'd act out scenes from uh, historical fiction or old plays or whatever, and they always had these clever skits. And they had this one behind-the-scenes thing where they showed uh, they showed like somebody recording the sound of them smashing a uh, a head of lettuce with like a giant knife to make a certain uh, what I forget what sound effect it was. But it was like, wow, that's so cool! They actually went and recorded this, and I I don't know. Ever since then, I've been really interested in the different sounds that you can make with stuff. And uh, whenever that shows up in movies or animation or whatever, you just think, how did they make that sound? I don't know. I just think it's cool. You might not care, but that's okay. Uh, suffice to say, I don't know if we should just plant more cassava or plant more uh, anything else. I think we only have 200 storage for soybeans, so I think that's why that's there. But um, it might honestly make more sense just to plant... A bunch of soybeans here because those are very annoying to grow but if, if we make these why why i can just delete these i don't need to save these i've got so many but if i make these soybeans then i can make these into cassava i think that would be smart now the kohlrabis we're probably never going to have a problem with because they're not going to prefer to eat them anyway and we have enough of these set right here should not be an issue so uh in the interest of keeping it in the family quote unquote uh, we'll put we'll put cassava here and we'll put soybeans here i'll leave some space here for additional uh campfires nothing wrong with that 
but that should be nice. And then we can grow a lot more corn because I'm pretty sure we're going to need it, even though we have 604. But the eggplant, I don't know what it is about the eggplant rations, but those things, they're, they're going to town making those. But everything else is fine. Like, we're not maxed out on most of this, but we have enough. If anything, we need to make more fermenters for the mushrooms, but uh, when we move all of our production or the wood stuff off of the top level, I think that's going to be a good place to build a whole bunch of these things. And we can take this space back for farming, although I'm not really sure, not really sure what we'd put in there. That's something to think about. I love this. I don't know if I've said this lately. Oh, okay, there's our power. Hold on. Hold on. Are we, uh, are we out? We are, in fact, out. Um, these guys are not making any power. I don't know how we're getting power to here. It's probably because of these engines. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Since we already have these right here, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to get rid of this. And then we're going to build not one, but two of these. All right, like so. Build two of those right there. And then we'll figure out how to connect it. I kind of want to uh, kind of want to just build six of these then figure out uh, at the end how to do that. But I am uh, I'm very, very interested to see just how fast they can make these. Not like we're going to have any power here anyway, but now the bots don't have any juice, which is a problem. Um, only beavers can go on the large power wheel. Yes, we know. So we might end up having a. Uh, we might end up having a little bit of a problem here unless unless we come over here and find ourselves a place to put um, engines. These don't communicate power except on this one specific place, which is uh, just a tad unfortunate. This is only a horizontal junction. It cannot go on the side, which is, again, just a tad unfortunate. So I think what we'll do... I think what we'll do is just uh, pop in. Ah, uh, yes, I can't get into here because there's stuff in the way. Well, we will fix that, let me assure you. Let's come down here, grab this stuff, and get on with your life. Cause now we gotta now we gotta have this stuff come in here so we can power everything with the power of wood. They're not gonna stay here. I know, but we just, we can't have these bots all out of juice or else we are going to run into several serious problems. I'm going to pause that just so they have to come and build this. Never stop this generator. Well, I guess that's probably not super, super, not super irrelevant. Yeah, there you go. It's not super relevant because uh, this just needs to be working anyway, regardless. Yeah, get, get rid of that. Get rid of that blueberry bush. We don't care. All right. Prioritize building by haulers. Make some power for us, please. Please. I'll ask nicely. Oh, there's no beavers working here. Or no bots. Guess what? Now you're all haulers. Supply the power generator. It will be in your best interest, I can assure you. There we go. So we're charging that. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be ideal, but but it is going to allow us to run the chargers, and that'll keep the bots working quite nicely. Get this second one in place. I am so glad. I am so glad these have power outputs on the sides as well as the back now. That was such a huge pain when they didn't have those. I still don't really like these things, but at least they're more useful now. That is something to be celebrated for sure. So let's see. This needs the gears, treated planks, logs. We already have. Uh, mm, oh yeah, we have we have enough for both. L look look at look at this. Beard bot one seventy nine. Out of juice, at negative three energy, but still manages to find a way to keep the engine supplied. That is teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, folks. Oh, are we out of? No, we're not. We have grease. Oh man, this this is such a weird looking. Uh, I mean, it it looks like grease that you would make out of, I don't know, animal fat or something. 
or like I said earlier, a mixture of wallpaper paste and uh, and a sausage gravy. Or what's the what's there's something else I was uh, reminded of, but I can't remember what it was. Are they really not going to build this right now? Or are they just all? Uh, are they just all tired? Oh, look at these guys. That's why. You get these builders in place. Go charge your batteries, dudes. These are... The charging stations are working. Just just gotta go do it. I should have done this earlier. because Now this is gonna be a whole mess. And the, the umlaut on the V is just completely unnecessary. But I love it. I love it. That's fine. Yeah, our, our uh, fermented mushroom numbers are definitely low. We will address that just as soon as we can move this out of here. It, it's It's gotta stay here for right now. But soon, soon. Uh, once this metal bit is done, I might end up making this all just uh, wood processing. Since we already have these in place here, and these engines. Because uh, this is storage. This is storage. This doesn't have anything here, so this could be prime for wood processing. This one as well. Uh, I haven't put storages here, but I'm probably... I don't really need to, but for the sake of... Uh, the sake of symmetry, it could be a good idea. I just, I'm so uh, not willing to put in massive storages that don't have to be there. You know, but that'll be fine. We could do these back to back to back to back, but we have to have the power connecting everything. That's that's why I wanted to start in this corner. But we've got a while before that's going to be an issue. Just got to make sure everything is getting done appropriately. These are both going... Uh, we're charging our dudes. We have, wow, uh, 30 incapacitated bots. They're going to take their time getting over there. But that will work out uh, quite nicely. And then I guess I could unpause this so we can get that taken care of. We're not going to be able to build more than one of these, I'm sure, before the end of this episode. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll have them do their best, as one always should. And that will be that. So we will have to have a... I always want to... I forget that I've got access to this stuff. Rotate that that way. Put this guy here. Put that guy there. And then just right the way in there. Problem solved. So I think this uh, ladder will help me build the rest of this. That should be okay. And as long as they can get this done, I think that's going to work. 21%. 21% power input. That's fun. These guys, these two are powering pretty much everything up here. Um, I'm assuming... Oh, this is still... I don't know why this does this, but it's, it's still going. That's progress. Uh, how close are these? Yeah, I'm just... I'm just going to go ahead and put two more of these in. Really should be more on top of this. So it's uh, a more gradual thing, but you know how it goes. Got to take your time. So we got this giant thing of eggplants we probably don't need. Uh, corn, we have, we have 902. Wow, okay. So that's actually looking good. I think it's just a matter of uh, getting stuff supplied. Are these even marked as prioritized by haulers? They are not. Let's do that. At least for the corn and the algae. The eggplant ones I'm not so worried about. Oh, they already were prioritized. Okay, that's probably exactly what was happening. Is these had just not been prioritized. And I, some, some of you guys are good about reminding me about that. Uh, getting stuff prioritized. But at the same time, it is at some point one of those... Uh, like Syndrome and the Incredibles, if everybody is super, then nobody will be. If everything is prioritized, then nothing's prioritized, because everything is at the same level. So, I don't know, just got to find a balance. I would love to have a true priority list for haulers, or maybe have the hauling posts change to have a specific radius that they work with, although that one could end up being evil. It could make things very, very hard. Uh, if you have to actually plan where your hauling posts go, and they'll, they'll only haul between destinations within a certain radius. That would be very interesting. I'm not going to say I would 100% uh, be a fan or not be a fan of it, but it would certainly be something to think about. 
these are now all three built. I, you know what? I probably do have the resources to build another one. In fact, I definitely do. I definitely do. Have they started building this yet? D do I, do I dare, do I dare tempt fate? I think the answer is yes. No pain, no gain. Plus, it's enjoyable when uh, some of the stupidity happens, right? Causes all sorts of problems. Um, wait, why can I not... Um... Oh, stupid thing. All right, they gotta come, gotta come get the seedling out of the way. But I can put this in, like, here. Oh, no! You know what I didn't do? I forgot that these would have to connect. That's gonna be a... Uh... That's going to be a problem. And I was going to end the video at the end of the drought, but, uh, well, now it's a race against time, isn't it? Uh, bring this in. Oh, no, you can't do that. It's not going to, it's not going to fit. Well, uh, well, you're absolutely correct, first of all, but, uh, at any rate, this, I think, will be a-okay. Do I have enough to make two of these? I think I do. No, I don't have enough treated planks. All right. Do I have treated plank uh, making capacity? I've got four of these. They take an hour each. No, okay, we'll just we'll just do the one. That's fine. And then we'll have to remember to uh, come back and do this properly uh, again next time. So that is fine. You know the drill. We already built this once, and so now I just have to do it again. So that will go right here with the uh, ladder. Get this prioritized. We should hopefully, hopefully not have that many incapacitated bots. But now, now the problem, now the problem is I, uh, <laughs> I committed to doing this when we didn't, uh, we didn't necessarily have the time to do it. And now I'm, uh, now I'm causing problems. Now I'm causing problems because this is the only. Uh, this is the only power output we have is, uh... Okay, well, once these wheels start training, I think upstairs will be fine. But it all takes time. All takes time. We also need to put in the, uh, number of crunchers. But I haven't figured out exactly where those are going to go yet. Do I... Do I have enough builders? I, I think I only have the four that come in the, uh, the district center. That's not exactly ideal. Wait, did this dry out? It did. Cool. So when we eventually get to the uh, the metal mine over here, well, we will know it works, which is nice. Good news though is this seems to be going uh, going pretty well, but I think now is a pretty good time to go ahead and uh, start the process of getting you out of here. So uh, as a reminder, please do go vote in the poll for the name of this outside district for the bots. Uh, tomorrow, being Tuesday, we have a video on the Folk Tales playthrough coming. As we start to wind that one down, we've got maybe a couple left in there. Maybe uh, maybe two or three, depending on what we can get accomplished. I want to get the uh, well-being up to 60 for them. And then uh, maybe a couple of other small things. But uh, outside of that, new prison architect on Wednesday. Brand new series. Uh, we're going to sell the prison from the first one and uh, use the profits to go ahead and build a bigger and better one. That should be fun. That game has been delayed, if you had not heard. Uh, and that uh, the sequel has been delayed to the end of May, I think. Something like that. Or some sometime in May. So we will actually have some time to have a good series on that. Maybe less than a dozen episodes or so. But that game is a little bit faster. Should be able to get some cool stuff done. And now this is done this thing we can come in and uh, build the rest of this so we'll let them take care of that outside of that uh, Thursday is the normal day for our uh, iron teeth so that'll come back on Thursday and then have another video on Sunday Friday folk tales again maybe the series finale maybe not if it's not then uh, early next week a week from maybe a week from Tuesday would be the end of that but then we also have our Transport Fever 2 we just started. So that's been uh, an interesting and fun experience. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. Those will be on Saturdays. And then after that, who knows? We'll see. Uh, I do want to start the Water Beavers playthrough. Oh, this is actually connected now, right? Good. Now it's going to be charging. 
we can watch these things spool up. I'll just zoom in nice and close on this. So we can see this wonderful gear set. I've been informed Planetary Gear is allegedly the correct name for this. I don't know. Don't quote me. Actually do because I told you and you should do that. Anyway, I, I digress quite heavily. This is in good shape now. We've made massive improvements in this episode. I think we'd be very happy about it. So uh, thanks for being here. I really appreciate you, Beard Boosters, as well. Uh, all of the contributions make it possible for me to keep doing this stuff and keep the channel free of garbage ads. So uh, your little uh, little two ninety nine a month might not seem like a whole lot, but it, it does add up, and it is very, very much appreciated. And even if you're not part of that, I am thankful for you as well. As always, I really enjoy getting to uh, talk to you guys and having the uh, the fun experience of playing the games together. And in the live streams too, which uh, hopefully we're going to be able to do more and more of uh, as we get into spring and then later summer. But that is all the time we got for this one. Don't forget to vote in the poll. They'll let me know what you think about the uh, arrangement for the tribute to Ingenuity in the corner upstairs. I think that's cool. If you guys like it, we'll put them in all the corners and we'll, uh, we'll duplicate the rest of that as well. But that's quite enough of this. Have a fantastic rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. Have fun, stay safe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.